Welcome back to Farm Grown Hatches. Lisa here and today I have Andrea helping me in the kitchen. And today we are going to make sauerkraut and fermented ginger carrots. Oh, let's get started. All right, so we have three heads of cabbage that I will shred with my knife by hand because my food processor is still in a box. And Andrea is going to grade five pounds of carrots. just for fresh eating and coleslaw and things like that because this is a 35 quart bowl that is very full and we only have so many so many jars right now because most of them are still in box <laughs> so Andrea I'll keep going on the carrots I'm gonna grade the ginger for the carrots and then we'll go from there frozen ginger because a few months ago Tyrell randomly came home with like a three pound ginger root that I just stuck in the freezer because I'm like don't use that much fresh ginger all at once and so I just frozen it in chunks and I'll peel it and grate it as needed. shredded it is time to add no. our salt so this is just kosher salt you want salt without any additives no iodine no anti-clumping agents nothing like that and so for five 
pounds of carrots, we are going to add four tablespoons of salt um, because we do not have a, any liquid from a previously fermented batch, which we could use to help speed up the process. And so, and then four, these, this is nearly five pounds of cabbage, so we're going to use about four and a half tablespoons of salt. Now we are going to work the salt into the cabbage and the carrots. Andrew, you can stir. I'm going to use my hands. We want to get that salt worked in to start bringing out the juices. I don't want to knead it into the vegetables. If you would like to use your hands, yes, you may. Just remember to keep the veggies in the bowl. Like when I'm trying to let it pop them, but I don't. Yeah. Oh. So we'll do this for probably a good five minutes or more. So we get the juices coming out really well. So I can feel the juices starting to come out of the cabbage. But I can still hear a little bit of salt on the bottom of the bowl, so we're not quite there yet. Where this is just... And Andrea's has got lots of juice coming out of it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's going all over my arm. All the front and all the way down her arm. Alright, keep massaging. Chef, and it does the same thing. volume of the cabbage has decreased by like, a lot. <laughs> so now we are going to fill our jars. So I'm going to do the carrots first. So I have a half gallon wide mouth jar. I've got my canning funnel here. much in we need to tamp it down really well because we don't want any air gaps or else the fermentation cannot do its job properly
carrots that we will let sit for probably about four days or so. We've got the carrots done here in this half gallon jar. And now I'm going to fill three quart jars with the cabbage. massaged it and pounded on it just a little longer so I'm well, I'm going to put a little bit of water on top of them and um, this is just well water so there's no additives no chlorine or anything else that could possibly kill the um, fermentation bacteria Right, and these are not <laughs> fermentation weights. They're just glass gem-sized um, lids that would use a separate rubber ring, but they do fit inside the wide mouth mason jars. So, one moment. We're going to take some of our left, our, our cabbage leaf that we left, just Tuck it in there, kind of as a sealant, just make sure that the sauerkraut isn't floating and that it's all submerged. And we will add, oh, that one might not fit. Are you just going to put it in the side? Nope, it might only be one jar that it fits. I think it's only one jar that it fits. We'll see. <laughs> but we'll tuck a cabbage leaf in all of these. Just to make sure that everything stays submerged during the fermentation period. There we go. So all of the shredded cabbage has been submerged. Oh, it looks like the weight, the glass only, lid only fits in one of the jars. However, that's why we also kept the cabbage cores. I said 
tops. It means that the fourth quart jar will just get a regular um, lid and ring and I will just have to make sure it's not too tight and I will have to um, burp it every couple days. some ginger for extra flavor. So the carrots will ferment for about four days and then we'll check to see their flavor. Um, the sauerkraut we will let ferment um, probably two to three weeks and we will update you when it's time. All right, thanks for hanging out with us today. Have a good day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.